tucked away in a drawer is one of the rarest meteorites in the university's collection, a small rock that scientists hope will answer some big questions. Famous Murchison, yeah, does famous it really Murchison. smell? It does, you wanna smell it? Wow, it's the smell of outer space. It's actually got a lot of organic materials in it. The Murchison meteorite is classified as a carbonaceous chondrite, a type of stony meteorite containing the organic element carbon. They are the most primitive and unaltered type of meteorite known. It's a little dirty. Yeah, it's still got some yeah, of the... Yeah, clean that up, would you? Yeah, <laughs> it's still got some of the dirt on it. Scientists believe this ancient rock may hold answers to the mystery of how life on Earth began. Certain types of meteorites, like the carbonaceous chondrite, most likely did bring the organic materials from which life could have gotten started on our own planet. So we're looking at one of our ancestors there, possibly. Well, you know, it <laughs> kind could of be the, well, the raw materials. We didn't just the raw materials okay, for, right. for, yeah, for life. No wonder we're so into meteorites. We're descended yeah. from them. <laughs> well, maybe you are. <laughs> what they want are meteorites like the spectacular find Sonny already has to his credit. Meteorites are rare, collectible meteorites are super rare, and then there's the meteorite that Sonny found. It was like nothing ever found before. It was by pure luck, I just happened to be walking and found this black rock. In 2004, Sonny found a carbonaceous chondrite, a meteorite rich in carbon instead of stone or iron. The meteorite that Sonny found, this carbonaceous chondrite, is so exceptionally rare. It's not just from a collectible standpoint, oh, I have something that no one else has. It has answers in it. The, the term gets thrown around the god rock. Was there one meteorite? Was there one body that started the dominoes going? Was a meteorite or were many meteorites the progenitors of life on the planet? It's possible, it's an interesting theory. That's actually one of the most fascinating questions, of course. How did life begin on the planet? At Arizona State University, Dr. Minakshki Wadwa studies these visitors from space. The big question is, did carbonaceous chondrites carry the building blocks of life from outer space to Earth? The key there is understanding how organic compounds started to um, synthesize to form more complex compounds. And so we believe that some of the organic materials that may have been the precursors of life may actually have been delivered to the Earth um, in meteorites. Sonny found this rarity at another undisclosed site in Nevada. It's one of only 14 of this type ever found, and just the second to be discovered outside of Antarctica. There you go, Jeff. Oh, wow. Look at that. 